Are you ready? Ready. All right, let's go. Kevin here, top one financial advisor. And best selling author. We are here to talk about the stock market. Hey y'all, you know that it is Sunday, which means I normally do not drop a video unless it is something important, something you need to know right now. So what you need to know is that we are walking into a very, very busy earnings week and you should be aware of some of the companies that are going to announce. Particularly, we are in the part of the investing calendar and season where really 20% of the S&P 500, 20% of the value of the S&P 500 is going to be reported this week. And as you know, the S&P 500 is the largest 500 companies. 20% of that value is really tied up in just five companies. That is Meta, Microsoft, Amazon, Alphabet, and Apple. All of them report this week. In addition to other companies I'm paying attention to, like Coca-Cola, they report on Monday. A lot of this stuff is going to happen on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Thursday. So again, you want to be aware. That does not mean that the market is going to tank. That does not mean that you need to go out and buy a bunch of stuff or sell a bunch of stuff, but it does mean that the market might be a little wild. Remember the last time that Facebook reported, they dropped almost like 20% in a day because they reported the first time that they had lost users and people weren't as engaged on their platforms as what they were normally used to. Very similar to a Netflix situation where they lost subscribers and the last two times now they've announced earnings, the company dropped double digits, and then the, the market kind of followed. So in this case, remember, again, Again, those five companies alone, and those are not all five that are announcing this week, but they are the largest. And usually what Apple does well and Microsoft and, and uh, Amazon and all these companies do well, usually the market follows. And we know that all of these are tech companies and that the market really likes a lot of tech companies except for this year. And as you have seen, the entire stock market is down and guess what? all of those stocks are down with it. So you do want to be aware of it. Again, I don't think that this is a, a buying or selling decision happening this week, but you, you want to be aware because I, what I don't want to happen for you is that you get into something, let's say you, you decide for whatever reason to buy Facebook this week and then it tanks uh, when they do earnings. And you're like, oh my God, this is terrible. It's the worst decision of my life. I'm like, hey, they were announcing earnings. You should have known that. So I am telling you now, this week could be busy. I don't have a crystal ball, so I don't know if this week is going to be good or bad. And I didn't know it was going to be good or bad last week, but we had a decent indication that, hey, we know what the deal was with Netflix. We knew what the deal was around interest rates and inflation. So that is very similar here in that we know how tech companies have performed. We'll see how the market is going to react, but I'm telling you now, it, it will likely be a very busy week. We'll see what happens. For me, what is my game plan? Y'all know come Friday, I'm a dollar cost average like I always do. That's not going to change. And one thing that, that may change a little bit is I'm not going to be doing any trading. I'm not going to be trying to, to hop in and out of certain stocks because I don't know how these companies are going to perform and how those companies could affect others. That is another thing that happens. Is, I would say it's an unfortunate uh, circumstance when it comes to um, earnings season. For example, when Netflix announced that they were losing subscribers and that company tank, Disney also fell. Well, what if Disney Plus was fine? We're not the same company just because they lost money doesn't mean that I have to, but that is something that, that could occur. So if maybe Meta doesn't do well or Google doesn't do well, or whatever happens, I want my investments, my trading account to be affected by it. So I'm going to sit still, I'm going to mind my business and I will dollar cost average on Friday. I just want to come out, let you know what might happen so that you not, so that you don't overreact and, you know, say everything is terrible when, Hey, it's earnings season. Things, are, things could be weird. And it could also be positive. There is a chance that all those companies do well and the stock market takes off this week. We don't know. But I just want you to be aware of it so that you know what is around the corner and that you can make a better investing decision. All right. That's it for me. I'll talk to you later.